Hello Unisport fam, 7MLC here. It's great to be back out here in Copenhagen with the Unisport team. So today I'm going to show you five ways to control the ball. When it comes to football, your first touch is the most important skill and I'm going to show you five essential ways to control the ball out of the air. So the first way we can control the ball is what I consider the easiest and that's using the inside of the foot. Reason it's the easiest because you've got a nice wide surface area so you don't have much room for error. The only negative part of this one is usually when you control it with the inside of the foot coming out the air, you might need a second touch to settle it on the ground. But when it comes to your first touch, the main thing you want to do is create a cushion effect with the part of the body you're controlling the ball with. And that means moving your body part away from the ball as it's making impact. I like to make the analogy of dropping a tennis ball on concrete and then dropping it on a cushion. If you drop it on a cushion, it takes away the speed of the ball and it won't bounce. So you want to create that with your body as well. So as the ball's coming in, we move our foot away and that creates the cushion effect to take the velocity out of the ball and it should control, kind of like this. Another part of the body we can use is the outside of our foot. A bit less traditional and you might only use it if the ball's coming in at an awkward angle and you don't have time to adjust your body to receive it with the inside of the foot. But it still offers a nice wide surface area that you can control the ball with. So we really want to get it on the outside towards the lower side of the foot. That's the flattest area of the foot that we can possibly control the ball with and it's going to offer the cleanest touch. So as the ball is coming in once again, we want to move that foot away from the ball to create that cushion effect and you should get a nice clean first touch like this. The third option is using the laces, if you have laces on your football boots. But using the top of the foot is a good option if you want to get the ball on the ground quickly. You usually use this technique if you have a little bit more time and space and the ball's coming in from more of a height. You can get your body underneath it and you're gonna move that foot away at the last second, again creating that cushion effect, and that allows you to get the ball on the ground. And a bonus tip for this one is the lower your foot is to the ground, the more chance the ball's gonna get on the ground quickly, like this. Another part of the body that we can use to control the ball is the thigh. So the top of the leg here, another nice wide surface area, a lot less room for error than other parts of the body. Again, if the ball's coming in at a height, but it's a little bit too low to control it with your chest, a little bit too high to control with your feet, the thigh is a really good option. So we want to put a slight bend in the standing knee that offers more balance so that when you control the ball, you're not off balance and your touch won't get away from you. And again, with your thigh, as the ball makes impact with it, you reduce it, slightly bring your thigh away at the last second and that creates the cushion effect, kind of like this. And the final part of the body I'm gonna show you today to control the ball with is your chest. Again, probably the widest surface area we've got. You're only gonna use this when the ball's in the air coming at a height that's too high to control it with your feet or your thigh, so the chest is an option. And the nice thing about the chest, even if the ball's coming in really high, you can actually jump to receive the ball as well. It's a really good option. Again, you wanna create that cushion effect so as you're receiving the ball, if you move your back slightly away from the ball, you're gonna create that distance and it will cushion the ball and you should be able to control it, just like this. So two bonus points to improve your first touch. The first is really treat that ball like it's fragile. You don't wanna be over eager and try and meet the ball as it's on its way to you. Be patient and allow the ball to come. I almost like to treat the ball like it's made out of a big eggshell or something like that. If someone was to throw an egg at you, you're not gonna grab that egg out of the air, you're gonna let it come to you and you're gonna cushion it. It's exactly the same with the football. So if I was to receive it on my chest, it was coming through the air, I don't wanna meet that ball in the air because it's just gonna bounce off. You to let the ball come and then actually make your back go in the opposite direction so you can cushion it and that will allow the ball to control or take all that power and spin out of the ball. The second tip I have for you is being able to adjust your body in the direction that you want to take your first touch. For example, if I was receiving the ball from this way, but I want to take my touch this way, I need to have that ability to change my body angle and actually push the ball in the direction. If I receive the ball here and all my body is still facing the direction, I'm going to have to control the ball 
get it down on the ground and then turn in that direction. You can also have the ability to change the angle of your body and that's gonna make you a lot more efficient. So if the ball's coming in here on my chest, if I can change the angle of my body and then control the ball in the direction I want to go, you're gonna be able to get on the attack a lot quicker. So there we go Unisport fam, five ways that you can control the ball out of the air. There are more creative ways you can do it, but make sure you've mastered the foundational ones before trying anything more advanced. Remember, if you haven't already, subscribe to the Unisport channel by clicking the bubble over my head here. You can also check out my channel 7MLC by clicking the bubble over here. But thanks for watching and we'll see you guys soon.